Um, up next, we have um, Ming Zhao and Min Liu of Penn State. Um, going to talk about the effects of permafrost degradation and coastal erosion on four North Slope borough coastal communities, uh, surveyed through knowledge co-production. Thank you, James. Next slide, please. Hi, my name is Ming Xiao, I'm a professor of civil engineering at Penn State. We are a group of researchers from Penn State, uh, North Alaska Fairbanks, and the Co-Climate House Research Center did a survey by collaborating with the four Arctic coastal communities. And uh, the communities are Kaktovik, Point Lay, Ugiavik, and Wainwright. We did the online survey um, from last November to the end of January uh, last month. So in the survey, we asked uh, about uh, uh, 10 questions on the point frost thaw and the coastal erosion and their impacts on the uh, infrastructures in terms of damages and repair. So altogether, we have 153 uh, local residents um, responded to the survey. So next slide, please. In the interest of time, and I'll only share just uh, you know, uh, some of uh, the results. So if you look at the uh, type of the infrastructure that are affected by a permafrost degradation or a thaw, and you can see in the four communities and uh, the uh, infrastructure mainly affected are the houses, uh, runway, uh, school, ice and cellar, and water and sewer lines. And, uh, and of course, you know, this, you know, the proportion of those kind of varied uh, slightly from community to community. Uh, next, please. And uh, if we look at uh, uh, next, if, if you look at the uh, uh, type of infrastructures uh, that are affected by coastal erosion, in the four communities, we also see again, you know, the houses, runway, uh, schools, ice cellars, water and sewer lines, and all the other the main ones. And uh, of course, you know, the proportion and uh, also varied slightly. And others include uh, maybe roads or, uh, uh, or uh, utility doors. Next slide, please. Well, if we look at uh, the, uh, uh, the observations of the uh, damages to the uh, uh, residential houses caused by permafrost uh, thawing, the, uh, the residents you know, reported the majority of those, you can see on the, uh, on, on the light, uh, left one, the majority says, well, there are um, damages uh, to the houses. When you ask about you know, uh, any, any repairs uh, down to, to damages, and you can see the majority said no, and uh, mainly, you know, that means, you know, most of the houses actually are not repaired. Uh, next, please. If you look at uh, the uh, observations of the coastal erosion, the, the local residents uh, advised that you can see in the uh, four communities, uh, again, a majority said, um, you know, there are coastal erosions uh, occurring. And uh, if you look at the B and uh, any erosion controls uh, have been implemented. Well, you can see, you know, about half said yes and half uh, said no. And how effective they are. And uh, it seems like, you no know, majority and uh, over 50% said, you know, those are you know, the erosion controls are relatively effective. Uh, next slide, please. And um, we also did the other uh, permafrost. Uh, we look at uh, the uh, uh, so-called the hotspots. So maybe next we can see all the all the four of them. So we, we have an uh, Okiavik and uh, Kaktovik, uh, a Kaktovik, a Point Lay, and and, and a Wainwright. And uh, we we on the online survey we provided a map of the different scales. You know from uh, maybe. Uh, uh, you know, 300 feet to maybe, uh, you know, 80 miles of, of scale and have local residents to click on, on, the, on the locations that they either observe the coastal erosion or degradation and cause the damages to infrastructures. As you can see in Ugiave, can uh, most of the damages are really mainly occurred on the coast that caused by coastal erosion. And in, in Kaktovik, and uh, you can see, you know, in addition to some, you know, coastal erosion, there's also inland and you know, caused by probably by you know, permafrost degradation to, uh, to infrastructures. You look at the uh, Wainwright, and uh, again, we can see majority, you know, the, the issues occurred along the coast. There are also some, you know, in the community and also along the roads. In Point Lay, 
And actually, the our point lay the uh, coastal erosion is not a big concern. Actually, some lo locations even see land increase or accretion. But we can see, you know, lots of issues, you know, recommended by the local residents that their issues occurred in the infrastructure and kind of off the coast. Uh, next slide. So uh, thank you all. And uh, if you have any questions, we can discuss further.